<laughs> so today is finally the day that I get to see what the finished product is go over it and uh, tell you a couple of things um, that I have since found out that I kind of did wrong uh, we'll see well I'm a little nervous about a couple things so we are at as everybody knows bison thunder motorcycle here in st. Paul these guys are pretty cool they let me just come in I film hang out do my thing all right guys so these guys here at bison thunder brought it out for me look at this all right so as you can see real quick glance obviously we have the passenger backrest we also have a driver backrest or a rider i've never used a backrest before um, a couple of my buddies have them they say they work good so i decided forget it let's give it a try so and then uh, there's obvious here passenger rider uh, floorboards they just match like the regular standard ones and then of course there's this big old baby i went with well okay so a little bit of honesty here this windshield is like the big tour and i, I think when I was doing the buying and I was telling everybody what parts to buy, um, I kind of screwed up a little bit because I think I told them I wanted this one. When in actuality, I wanted the flip. So what I've done since then is I bought a flip. It's obviously not on it, but I do have it. Um, it's at the house, it's ready to go. So I'll be testing that out. I don't know, now I have an extra one to see what I like. <clears throat> And then there is these, the sound system. I went with the top of the line Indian has. So I have speakers in the bags. I have the upgraded speaker and amps or whatever. Um, yeah, it's, and it, it's pretty good. Let's see. By the way, if you ever want to wake it up, you just have to, you just got to hit the button. And I think it comes on without me even doing anything other than hit the button. You don't have to hit the power button. Well, let's see if we can let's see what we can do here. So it goes up to like, I think 15 or something. Um, that was three, it's really loud. I'm so excited. Um, and then here is one thing that is not really obvious. Um, two things actually, I forgot. I got two more things uh, to show. <clears throat> uh, one is I have heated grips. Oh, I guess I can turn it on for that. So I have heated grips and it's kind of interesting. So down here is the heated grip nozzle, right? So up and down and I think off, something like that. So it's kind of hiding, which is a little interesting, but you can right here also inside this, you can switch them on or off. And um, there's a whole bunch of, whole bunch of different setting. What did that show like 10 to, Whatever, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten. So they go up to ten. 
Anyway, so it has 10 settings and they work really good. I test, I put it on like one, obviously we're in a heated, heated area. Um, but I wanted to show or feel, I wanted to feel how they did in the, and it was heated, but it was very nice. So that was pretty cool. And then the last thing is I got the extended reach seat. So what happens is, is it puts me like a half inch lower to the ground. So it puts me like a half inch lower to the ground. So it's like even easier for me to touch. But then the nice thing is it pulls me back a half inch so I can just chill. Oh, I just remembered something else. And my left foot realized it. But anyway, so first let me finish the seat. So I am like an inch back. And I'll show you in a second a little bit of a difference. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, so I'm an inch back, back further, and I'm a little bit lower. So I like to feel in a motorcycle instead of like on top of a horse. That's my personal preference. So that's it. And then uh, I did go with the heel, what is it called? The heel pinnacle, something like that. So I went with that. <clears throat> little heel shifter um, I'm not really big into using it but my last one I had was uh, kind of laid out a lot different on my victory actually I'll show you it was laid out it was very parallel to the bike and so I didn't have a good opportunity to get used to it so as you can see here it's like parallel when the victories comes out but I wanted to say something about this sweet ass victory is that it has been sold congratulations to the guy, they said they're shipping it to somewhere. I don't know, Michigan, I think. So I'm really happy. So if you bought that victory from Bison, oh, I can't see it, but if you bought this victory from Bison Thunder, um, one, you can message me. I can tell you everything about it. I know everything about it. Um, and two, you're gonna love it. It's, it's, if it wasn't for this bike, the Indian Challenger, that would have been my bike for a long time. So, um, as you guys can see, the only thing I haven't done is an exhaust. But I did get one. I just haven't put it, up, put it on yet, and I haven't decided how I should put it on. So what I think is, um, the people at Tab Performance, they mailed it to me. Um, I've heard a lot of videos, they sound really good. I'm gonna give them a try. <clears throat> I've heard really good things about it, so let's do it. I think I'm gonna do it and show you guys how it's done. Maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I just thought of something else. I do have crash bars coming. Engine guards, crash bars, whatever. I do have them with highway pegs. Um, uh, they'll be on next week, so. Look at the service here. Highway pegs, engine guards. Uh, that's probably good. You know, one of those, just jump on the bike, tell me where you want it. The simple things in life, you know? So this is where my, everybody says, you know, there's no room. Well, there's so much room on these challenges. I can't even get my leg all the way to them. I have to kind of bring them in. So, I don't know, I have like a 34 inch inseam. So anybody's wondering how long my legs are, there you go. Speakers. Remember I got the flip at home. I got the clockworks tinted flip. We got the heated grips in here. Got the backrest. Oh, ready? No, nope, it's not tight. I'm just trying to get them uh, so they're the same angle. There we go. I'm going to come on this tick. You know you got leg room if you can't, if the highway pegs are too far away. <laughs> but with my victory, when I put the highway pegs in, or the highway bars, I felt kind of funky. But yeah, I know, I like that. That's good. Look at that. I'm like fully, fully, 100% extended. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. It worked? Yeah, yes right. sir, thank you. Yeah. So yeah, you guys see I got the speakers in the bags, passenger backrest. Down here is the heated grips button, which is also in the infotainment center. What else did I get? Oh, I got floorboards for the passenger heel that match shifter. the front ones. I got a heel shifter, which we'll see if, if I actually start using it this time. <laughs> My past heel shifter on the Victory was parallel to the thing, so I would have to bring my heel in to click it, and it was really awkward, and so I didn't really like it too much. I don't know, so the only thing I don't have on this bad boy yet is exhaust, but I have exhaust, it's just not on. So, cool, I can jump down. That guy dribbled. Oh. So have you found anything about these that you don't like now that you've been working on them at all? Or you do think is really cool that you didn't know about? Um, no, I, I, I mean, they're still relatively new. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on cams, if and when they ever come out with stage two cams for us. Yeah, Lloyd's was talking about how it's gonna be a major pain in the ass if you have to drop the motor, it sounds like, cause you're not gonna be able to just pull these. Well, you won't have to on. drop the motor. Um, I talked to Polaris. What you do is uh, you'll remove your radiator and everything in the front here mm -hmm. and take out these bolts on either side and you can just rock it down on the frame here and then work on it that way. The tank will be removed, this will be removed. So you won't have to pull the motor completely. Move a couple of brake lines so you don't have to disconnect a whole bunch of stuff. Hey Lloyd, did you hear that? Adam. In your video, you said drop the motor. Sounds like it's a little different. That's good news though. Because dropping the motor sounds much harder. Yeah, that is what we're doing. Oh man, remember what I told you guys? I keep, I forgot to buy my shirt. I'm not gonna forget today. It's right there, extra large. So that is my bike. Um, I love it. Oh, I was gonna say a couple of things I didn't like that I have kind of learned in. You know, somebody told me that I needed a, a selfie stick because I'm getting too close to my face. I'm not that, God, I really do love this. This is the Jack Daniel spring. I know it's, it's sold, but man, whoever bought that is, he bought one heck of a bike. Anyway, uh, what I was gonna say is, I was gonna show something that, about the Challengers. So this is your standard one. This one has some extras and accessories on it. So they put, um, ape hangers or high risers whatever on here so that that is what they look like this one has the stage one air intake and it also has the indian um stage one exhaust so and but this doesn't come with the lean technology for traction control and stuff um, but you could put it in it so if you decided to get this because you love this, this is the only color that it would come in. So if you want this color, you gotta buy this. My understanding is, is it's actually cheaper if you bought this bike and you put all of the other stuff. Somebody told me he saved like 200 bucks because he did it. But if you want that color, that's what you gotta do. Super easy. You order your bike, you tell them everything you want on it, and they just put it in there. So if you want that color, that's what you get. You just kind of start with a different platform. So all you guys, I know a lot of people have seen this already, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it anyway. This is what it looks like without that front fairing and headlight assembly. Um, so this is a gentleman that I met last week, Stefan, badass bike dude. I like it, it's awesome. He went with the navigation upgrade um, on this. So they took it off. They slapped it on here but like uh, what i was going to show you guys is so i went with like an amp upgrade in the audio system and it is right here well on mine it's right here so it's pretty cool this is what it looks like pretty a little different a little different nice bike Stefan. nice bike and then here's another white one kind of like mine but i was going to show you guys something this is a dark horse one difference between a dark horse and a limited that I really, really am jealous of is this. The limiteds 
have bag fillers. And the dark horses do not have bag fillers. And my understanding is right now, they don't really offer them. You kind of have to get creative and order them. And, and um, yeah, I don't know. I heard it's expensive. I don't even know if it's worth it. It's just weird. I don't know. I'm not sure why they don't offer them. But let me just show you another example. So here we go, dark horse. And then limited, look at that. I just think it's so much cleaner. I do wish that I had bag fillers for mine. I'm a big, I like that closed, finished, polished look. So I don't know why they didn't offer them. I don't know why it's a limited only thing. I mean, you know they fit. You throw them in white. I don't know, it's just dumb, but whatever. In the limited, they come with bag fillers and engine guards. I guess stock. So I don't know. It is what it is. The other thing about limited is that they're all chromed out. Everything's really chromed and nice. And, and yeah, it's. I'm not hating on them. I love them. I really do like the bag fillers. God, I think it just looks so much cleaner. But whatever. It is what it is. And I picked what I picked, and I bought what I bought, and I love it. I'll probably just keep the backrest on a little bit more. Um, I usually keep it on anyway, but I'll probably just keep the backrest on and it kind of just fills it in. One thing about that, if you do have a limited and you get a backrest, like a passenger backrest, you have to take out your bags, fillers. So if it's like in and off, on and off, whatever, um, it's a lot of... So if it's on and off, you have to take off the bag fillers, put them on, or they're going to end up sitting up somewhere you're not going to be using them anyway so yeah so because you can see you can't have the bag fillers and the backrest on at the same time i think somebody said you might be able to leave like these lower parts which eh, i think that will look i've seen that on other bikes with like the lower bag fillers i think that looks good but anyway so that is what i've done to my bike and um thank you guys for watching and please subscribe down below I know I've asked that a couple last times so I want to say thank you to everybody for watching thank you guys for subscribing um, I'm having a lot of fun doing this um, and it kind of just lets me like know like how oh, people like my videos and or are interested in more videos so yeah you guys thanks a lot I guess I'm moving you know one of my subscribers told me I move too much sometimes so I'll stop. Maybe I should just walk like straight. So, uh, regardless, you guys, thanks a lot for everything. Thanks, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you hit the bell, and you'll see when I get new videos. It's winter time. I have a real job. My real job is a truck driver, which is kind of rough for videos out. So put, click the bell. That way you know when I got one coming. I'm trying to get one out every couple weeks. When summer gets here, it'll be more often. And uh, yeah, you guys, roll on it. Have fun. Ride as much as you can and upgrade your life. Alrighty, so, what a, what a weird day today. You know, I, um, it all started, it, it all started, I, so on my way to go see my challenge, I hadn't seen it yet, I'm, I'm so excited to see it, I'm so very excited. Um, I stop and I get gas, and I meet this guy, Dave, and I don't even know what happens. We, we, uh, we're like getting gas next to each other and he's like dude you're in shorts what's up he's like you're a true minnesotan and i'm like i'm like you know what it's 50 degrees warmer than normal today so i'm just gonna pretend and roll with this he's like yeah i feel you man he's like i'm flying out to california to, tomorrow to, to chill out and and uh and i don't know it's just one thing led to another and we're talking about motorcycles he's like dude let me get my He's like, I'm a Harley guy. He's like, I got a street glide, a road glide. I was like, what's your favorite one? He's like, I love my road glide. I was like, really, dude, I love it. I, have, I bought an Indian Challenger. It's also fixed fairing. And, and he goes, he's like, dude, let me get my phone. Let me check. Let me uh, show you my sports bikes. And it's my favorite, you know. We just shoot shoot it out for, you know, 10 minutes. And and I think he subscribed to the channel. So, Dave, if you're watching this video, man, I, I do appreciate it. And it's just... 
and it just you know started that way and then I get up to Indian and and I and I walk in and and I shoot a little video of my bike and and uh, Indian has like a member thing where they all meet up every month and they all just shoot it up so I get in there and there's not a lot of people around and, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere these people are just coming out of the back room and I'm like oh wow a lot of people here and like yeah you know we we have a meeting blah 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 right and it's just my, I have already set my camera down and I'm just sitting around and I'm bullshitting with these guys and I meet this guy named Larry from the vtwinblog.com and you know, we just sit there we just bullshit and there's other guys kind of in and out of our conversation another guy just bought a challenger the camera stayed in my pocket but i'm just i'm, I'm thinking right now right and, and I'm, I'm driving home and i'm just kind of chilling and, you know we are all very lucky to be intertwined in this thing that I'm gonna call the motorcycle community we all come from different walks of life we all do different things you know we didn't talk about our normal job at all you know what we talked about the thing that we love riding you know I mean it's like we talked a little bit about my YouTube channel and, and Larry gave me some really solid advice that I think was really cool and, and we talked about his blog and, and um, it's just you know what we're all very lucky to be in this community and uh, I just I just want to end this video by saying when you're getting gas say hi to the guy next to you because he might have some of the very same exact interests that you two, you do. And, uh, uh, what is it? 99% of the people on earth are probably really, really nice. We just got to say hi to one another. I don't know why I'm even talking about this, but it is what I think right now. And I just, I met a lot of really cool people today. It's complete strangers. I have no idea. And just, it was just cool. And it's always fun to meet new people. So, you know, say hi to somebody. Ask them how their day is. Or maybe don't ask them how their day is because that's a loaded question. Just say hi. See where that goes. Can't, can't go any worse than not saying hi. I don't know. Anyway, hi. Goodbye. Guys, to the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>